Hey, today we're talking rigs, specifically this one. This is as rigged up as you can possibly get a Sony a7S III, and we're gonna be breaking down this rig today. It's not a full cinema rig because uh, I'm missing a few things, but this will definitely turn some heads. This is the ultimate a7S III rig. Why would you even want this? Well, it fixes some of the problems that the a7S III has, and it also gives you a little bit new features. First issue, battery life. You are pretty much never gonna run out of battery with this, or it's gonna take a couple of days. We're also gonna look a little bit more professional thanks to the map box. This thing boosts up your production value like crazy. You can probably double your price just by having one of these. And then finally, we have this guy. This is gonna allow you to record 12-bit raw video, and that is an insane improvement. Are we competing against a red camera now that we can record 12-bit raw? I don't know, but this definitely looks very impressive and it's gonna turn some heads and people are gonna take you a little bit more seriously with this. And they should because this is probably a $5,000 rig. That is my estimate. We'll have to wait until the end to see how much this actually costs. So let's break it down. All right, let's just start from the beginning and work our way all the way up until we have a full rig. Before we begin, leave a comment of your guess on how much this rig is worth. So let's start off with the camera. This is the Sony a7S Mark III. It comes in at a cool $3,500. The lens that we're using today is the Sony 20 millimeter 1.8G. This is $800. So just like that with the lens, we now have a working camera. All right, next on the list is a cage. Everything here is from small rig basically. And this cage comes in at $44. Don't forget the little screw. Even if you're not building an entire rig, I would highly recommend having a cage. It just adds so much flexibility. So the next on our list is the base plate. This thing is 20 bucks and it kind of just holds everything together. We got some rails. Obviously this is probably $17. Let's not get into the interesting stuff quite yet. So the next item is the top handle. This one is $40. It's nice and low profile. I def I like this one a lot. We're not gonna put that on quite yet because we also have a monitor mount. Um, I don't know the exact price. I wanna say $50, but it's right here. Now we're ready to put it on. Time for some more interesting items. Starting off with the B-Bob micro V-mount holder thing for rails. Yeah, okay. Before you do this, <laughs> boom, now we're ready. Look at that. <laughs> now you can uh, see what you're doing. It only makes sense to talk about our battery now. We have the FX Lion Nano 2, 280 bucks. It's micro, which is very important. All right, uh, how about a matte box? We have this one here from Small Rig. It is $80. It's kind of big, but 80 bucks? Come on. We have two more pieces of this puzzle, the first of which being the Ninja 5. Seems like 600 bucks. I also have a little cage on it and that's super simple because now it's already on. And then the other half of that is gonna be the SSD. This one's 500 gigs from Angel Bird and it's $200. But I would highly recommend if you're actually looking at filming raw video to get like two terabytes. Stupid expensive at like 550 bucks, but you're gonna need a lot of storage. And there we have it. Let's see if you guys were right. The official total for this rig is there. <laughs> Did you comment correctly or not? Let me know. But this is it. This is the most overkill rig that you can probably have for the a7S III. But this is gonna fix all of your problems and then give you the ability to film 12-bit raw video. What do you guys think of this? Would you ever use this? Like, honestly. But if you wanna go ahead and support the channel, check out the LUTs in the description below. And if you do that, let me know if they're bad or not. <laughs> Obviously, I'm not trying to sell you anything bad. So just let me know. But all of that money and any money I make off of this channel in general goes right right back into the channel in forms of giveaways, subscriber showdowns, all that kind of stuff. I really want to get to the point where I can give away like a camera or a couple of cameras or a ridiculous amount of cameras or something. And I'm not going to be able to do that without your help. But with that being said, all right, all right.